the main job of an analyst is to put things in context. And so one of the things that I try to do in the book is put some of these big decisions in context. So what was the context in which President Bush made this decision, right? 9-11 um, had just happened. Largest single attack on America in our history. 3,000 people had just been killed. The CIA was telling him that Saddam Hussein, one of our primary enemies, a sworn enemy of the United States, had active weapons of mass destruction program, including a nuclear weapons program. And we were telling him that Saddam Hussein supports international terrorist groups, not Al-Qaeda, we can talk about that if you want, not Al-Qaeda, but Palestinian terrorist groups. And so there sits President Bush just having faced this huge attack on the United States, understanding that job number one of a president is to protect the American people, and we're telling him that this guy's got weapons of mass destruction and provides support to terrorist groups, right? And so he's, th he's sitting there thinking, you know, if Saddam uses these weapons against us, or if Saddam gives these weapons to a terrorist group and they use these weapons against us, boy, that could make 9-11 look small. I think that's what drove President Bush to action in Iraq, and it's exactly what led a, a majority of Congress to support him for exactly the same reason. Well, maybe, so absolutely, absolutely, the analysis on, on Iraq having weapons of mass destruction played into his thinking, no doubt about it. 